Artificial intelligence raises the risk of the extinction of humankind. That is the warning from a group of scientists and tech industry leaders, including high-level executives at Microsoft and Google. I want to bring in Dr. Dan Hendricks, the executive director of the San Francisco-based nonprofit Center for AI Safety, who organized these statements. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. Glad to be here. So first off, we've heard a lot about artificial intelligence, AI, but I want to go back to basics here. Explain what exactly AI even is. So it's a lot of different potential, a lot of different technologies. So it can perform a lot of decision making. You could ask it to accomplish some tasks for you, write essays, make images. Eventually, it will be able to do everything that a human can do. So it's very different from other sorts of technology. It could potentially one day be more intelligent than humans as well, which could make it more dangerous than other technologies. So explain to me what made you want to issue this warning? What motivated you to kind of put this together here and I guess let people out there know what could potentially happen? Well, so I've been concerned that AI could either in the longer run make humanity go in a very bad direction or potentially even lead to human extinction. And I noticed that a lot of other people have these same concerns, but they hadn't been expressed. So we put out this simple statement that said that this could pose an extinction risk and it should be treated as a global priority like we do pandemics and nuclear war so, to, so as to express that. I'm concerned that we're locked in an AI arms race currently. So AI companies are developing these technologies extremely quickly, as I'm sure everybody's seen. They're getting really smart, really fast. And they're, since they're locked in this arms race, they're having to develop them as quickly as possible. And that they're prioritizing development over safety. We don't know how to control these systems exactly, and we don't really understand them either. So this seems like a potential recipe for disaster in the same way that the nuclear arms race last century uh, brought us to the brink of catastrophe. So is it accurate to say, in your opinion, that AI, that artificial intelligence, can actually pose a danger overall to the extinction of humankind? Could we see humans go extinct as a result of this? Yeah, so there are some basic paths this could happen. One simple path is if the technologies get smarter and people use it for malicious purposes. A basic one somebody could do is use it to create a bioweapon. Somebody also recently tried directing an AI system to take over the world and displace humanity. Fortunately, AI systems aren't capable of doing that today, but given their extremely rapid development, it's possible that they may be able to do so in some years' time. So there's the issue of malicious use. The other bit is that they could get smarter than us and develop their own goals. Right now, humans are at the top of the food chain because we're the smartest. It's not because we have the largest claws or the sharpest teeth. It's because we're the smartest. But eventually, AI systems could be more intelligent than humans. And so if that happens, we might go the way of the gorillas or the Neanderthals. Why should Americans, people in general, be paying attention to these warnings that are being issued? This is because the problem isn't just a technical problem. Like pandemics, it's not just a matter of leaving it to some scientists to come up with the solution. It's, it's a larger issue. And likewise with nuclear war, we don't leave it to the nuclear scientists to prevent nuclear war. So the public needs to be aware that these risks are very real and that the top AI experts and the major companies developing these AI systems think that this could in fact pose the risk of extinction. So this is a broader social problem. We need to treat it like a global priority. We need to facilitate cooperation among the different actors, both here in the United States, but also internationally so that we're not racing with some other country. Because if we're repeating a nuclear arms race type of scenario, that could get very dangerous very quickly. And tell me about some of the positives of AI, because we've heard a lot about the warnings and the cons. What about some of the pros here? I think AI can be very transformative, so it could potentially make things more efficient. That efficiency could come at a cost of automation, though. It could probably generate a lot more interesting entertainment, um, much more efficiently, but that could end up cutting into people's jobs. So I think all of its benefits, some of its, its positives have a silver lining, and then there's this underlying larger risk of that. We may not be able to enjoy those benefits if we go extinct. 
what needs to happen? What do lawmakers need to do? What do people, average Americans need to do in this case to make sure that everyone does stay safe? So sort of like with the nuclear arms race, this is a problem beyond any individual company or any specific individual. We need to be working together and address this as the priority that it is. So we just put out the statement so to get so as to get the discussion started. Hopefully now we'll be able to work with each other um, uh, domestically and internationally. So people ought to let their uh, representatives know that this is a concern and that we need to uh, not just say, uh, the tech companies will take care of it. Don't worry, they have some concerns about it. It's a problem beyond any individual uh, because of these race dynamics. And some people will say, of course, that it is being blown out of proportion. But I think the fact that you've seen companies like, I believe it's Microsoft and Google, you know, taking part in this statement here, what does that say to you and what should that say to people out there? It's not just even the tech companies. Yes, I'm very heartened by Microsoft and Google's and OpenAI's and all of those companies' support. Uh, also, the, the people who developed the current wave of AI systems, who uh, invented it, um, are also signing on to this statement. And likewise, the researchers from all the top universities. So I think that this establishes that it's um, not just an exaggeration, but this is a real possibility that we're going to need to grapple with. It sounds very strange, but like with nuclear war, if that gets out of hand, that could pose a threat to our existence. And AI seems to be entering that class of extremely powerful technologies very rapidly. All right, Dr. Dan Hendricks, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. Anything you wanna add about AI before I let you go? Well, it does pose an extinction risk, Currently, we're locked in an arms race. We don't want to repeat the previous century of racing between countries. So we should try and initiate cooperation and proceed more prudently, not hastily, with AI's development. All right. Thank you again for being here. We appreciate it.